Stick around to see the Mistlands and some new items coming in the future. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Metarune. Today we had an update from the Iron Gate team in the form of a fireside chat. I covered the updates in more depth in my previous video, so check that out if you haven't yet. Richard and Grimcore talked about the Mistlands design and their excitement for its release. So let's hear what they had to say. We think that Mistlands will be probably quite surprising to the players. It will definitely be pretty different to previous uh, biomes in the game. We, we really tried to think about what don't we have in the game uh, and how, how can we make Mistlands different because it's, it's probably our last chance in the game to actually add uh, a biome that's very strange and different. At what least about you, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say that for me, genuinely, I'm speaking for myself. As soon as I, as soon as we're talking about Mistlands, I'm just drooling <laughs> because I think it's so bloody cool. I hope that a lot of people will think it's cool as well. I think, uh, but no, Mistlands is probably the one thing that is really, really also fun to work on, but it's equally as fun to play for me. So um, I'm looking forward to having the full experience, Mistlands, uh, going in there, uh, dying a lot. Hopefully I don't die too much in there though, but uh, it does feel different right now. That sounds super exciting. It really sounds like they're pushing the boundaries of the world of Valheim, and I can't wait for us to get it in our hands soon. They also shared a couple quick gameplay reveals. The first is a shot of a boat on the edge of the Mistlands. Uh, you know, it looks like kind of right as you'd be discovering the area. There's so much in the mist that you can't really see too much other than the shape of some rocks in the background, but looks pretty cool nonetheless. And the second is a panning shot of what we previously had only seen in photo format. To me, it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, I love the verticality to it. You know, the spikes that are driving up through the mist are super cool. It gives kind of an apocalyptic vibe. And it'll be really nice having another biome that rivals the mountains in terms of verticality. Uh, pretty much all of the other biomes, including, you know, the Ashlands and the Deep North, they're, they're pretty flat comparably. So uh, it'll be good to have something with, you know, a bit of extra height. And as I talked about in my last uh, video, teasing the new armor set, maybe there's going to be a jumping buff with that because it comes from Ring, so it could help you kind of navigate the um, the varying terrain in the Mistlands. I'm really interested to see how they end up incorporating the moth creature into this. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video covering that, definitely check it out because there's some interesting speculation in there. And before I go, I've actually got another Easter egg for you. I forgot to mention it in my last video, but they've been sitting on the other Easter egg the whole time. Did you notice the new rug? It looks like a dark fur square rug, kind of like the Lox rug. Um, I'm going to assume that it uses the new Fenring material that I mentioned in my last video. Uh, they mentioned in their dev blog that they have new building pieces in the works, so I guess this is a preview of one of them. Uh, I'm sure there are more, and I can't wait to see what else is coming down the pipe. So, did you see anything else that I missed from the Fireside Chat? What do you think about these teasers? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for updates as Iron Gate prepares to launch the Mountain Caves update in the coming weeks. Anyway, go build something, be awesome, and I'll catch you next time.